Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Setre. I hope you're doing well. I'm a registered nurse in the UK and I give tips and advice to nurses or anyone from overseas who is hoping to come and work in the UK or any other country for that matter. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new skilled worker visa or they call it a critical uh, skill work visa or permit for Republic of Ireland. So I've always said UK is not the only country you can migrate to but you can also migrate and work in the Republic of Ireland. Republic of Ireland is in the EU so they spend the euro. If you want to know more about this um, critical skill worker visa or work permit in Republic of Ireland you need to watch the video to the end. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Setre. I hope you're doing well. As I said in the introduction, I'm a registered nurse in the UK and I give tips and advice to international nurses, carers, anyone actually who is planning to relocate to the UK and not too sure as to, you know, how to navigate. And so today, as I said again, um, I'm going to be talking about the Republic of Ireland critical skill occupation um, visa. So in June this year, on the 14th of June 2022, the Republic of Ireland uh, government have revised their uh, shortage occupation list, but they refer to that as critical skills occupation list. So if you want to find out whether you on that list, you have to watch this video to the end. Now, if this is the first time you have come across my channel, you're very welcome here. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And for those of you who are already subscribers, I thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. So now let's talk about the list um, of occupations on this uh, critical skill um, occupation list or shortage occupation list for the Republic of Ireland. Once again, you need to be aware Republic of Ireland is part of the EU. So uh, actually, if you get citizenship or permanent residency there, you can easily travel to the EU countries. But if you are not a citizen, definitely you will need a, a visa to travel to any other European country. So just to clarify that. Anyway, so let's look at some of the occupations. Uh, it's a long list. Um, I've only chosen a few ones. Um, there are some managerial ones, which I feel most people coming from overseas may not either qualify or would rather not. So let's start with a list. So the first one is about ICT uh, professionals as well. So if you're an ICT professional, you have a chance. Medical laboratory scientists have a chance. I've got my list, so bear with me. Civil engineers have a chance. Electrical engineers, IT related uh, professionals, doctors, you have a chance in Republic of Ireland, psychologists, um, pharmacists, radiographers, podiatrists, audiologists, um, physiotherapists, OT, which is occupational therapist, nurses who so have looked at the code for nurses is 2232. Uh, no, 2231. Midwives is 2232. Teaching and educational professionals do have uh, are on the list. Social workers are on the list, and their code is two four four two. I've got my list again, so just bear with me. Paramedics are on the list, so if you like to find out more, you need to go and find out about your profession on the Republic of Ireland Critical Skills Occupation list. So eligibility, let's look at who is eligible for this type of visa or work permit. Um, so the occupations on the list, your salary threshold should be uh, 32,000 euros and you should have a relevant degree and qualification or higher. If you're a nurse or midwife 
a diploma degree would be accepted but one thing about nursing and midwifery is that you would need to check for the requirement on the nursing and midwifery board of um, Ireland they will have their requirement is the equivalent of the UK NMC so they have their processes they go through you have to check about their English requirement and all that so it's not straightforward but you have to find out yourself um, now for those who job whose occupations are on the list and they haven't got a degree so far as you have got an extensive experience that should be okay in order to apply or before you apply for this visa or work permit you should have secured a job so you should have found a job you should have got a job offer um, which is for an occupation which is on the or critical skill occupation list you should have applied 12 weeks before your start date of the need to apply via the employment permits online system it cost about a thousand euros once again as i said nurses and midwives you have to um, find out about the process on the nursing and midwifery board of ireland uh, to check what their requirements are if you meet those requirements then you can find a job in ireland to move across to go and work in ireland um, another thing is that as i said you would need to find out more as well on the employment permits online system this is where you're going to be doing the apply application so you can find out more about what your requirements are you would also need the employer registration number or the registered number for that employer who is employing you um, apart from that you need the registered name and their address their details um, the details of the employment the job title will be required the duties the responsibilities the start date your period you should have at least a, a, a period of two years which is or more for the job that is what should be offered to you by your prospective employer in Ireland details of your qualifications and skills will be required um, and the salary wise I said again before 32,000 euros and the hourly rate should be about 15 pounds uh, 15 euros and 78 um, I don't know if it's pence so I don't know what the little currency is um, and then the payment as well as I said it would cost you about a um, thousand euros so basically these are the information I have got about the revised um, critical skill shortage list or shortage occupation list for the republic of ireland once again i've always said uk is not the only country you can travel to ireland republic of ireland is very very close to the uk they share border with northern ireland which is part of the uk so it's a starting point uh, it's a beautiful place so don't put all your hopes on traveling to the uk 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 the republic of ireland is recruiting as well all you need to do is find a job you need to find um, an agency that recruits in republic of ireland apply to them and if you find a job you want just apply for it so far as you have your job offer they are offering you the salary which is required you have got your requirement like your qualification and education uh, which is required by them so far as you meet all those there might be english language requirement which i do not know so you need to find out about that but once again as i said i thought i should share this information with you for those of you who are struggling and you're not getting the position to um, relocate to the UK Republic of Ireland is close by you can consider that so remember to like subscribe and remember to share as well anyway I hope to see you soon take care of yourselves and bye bye